हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ एजाज नज़ीर स्टूडेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी एज ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द कोरोना वायरस पैंडमिक वर्ल्ड इज़ फेसिंग ए डिफ़िकल्टी चैलेंज एंड आवर यूनिवर्सिटी टू इज फेसिंग दिस चैलेंज रिगार्डिंग द टीचिंग रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज so i decided uh, to make some video lectures for my friends on the course of topology and uh, in this video we will talk about eurychron's metrization theorem as you see on your screen so eurychron's metrization theorem gives us a sufficient condition for a topological space to be metrizable <coughs> it was uh, given by urishon in 1926 the year he died so we will <coughs> talk about this theorem uh, in this uh, lecture uh, and we will going to prove it finally so let me uh, talk uh, let me state it what does it say about a topological space for being uh, metrizable the eurychron's metrization theorem says uh, that a uh, space with some topology on it <coughs> which is regular uh, i will going to explain all these terms what uh, what they mean uh, which is a regular space and has countable bases sorry and has a countable basis countable basis uh, this condition will give us the implication that this space is metrizable so <coughs> first uh, uh, well we will talk about uh, what is <coughs> meant by regular what is meant by countable basis and uh, what the what does it mean to be for a topological space to be metrizable uh, before uh, before this uh, we are going to talking we are uh, we'll talk about uh, a little bit about metric space so i am assuming that uh, all of you had a course on metric spaces uh, in a metric space we simply have a non empty set and a, and some metric d on it which allows us to uh, determine the distance between any two distinct points or the same point which is the zero distance so it allows us to if we have a metric space it allows uh, this d allows us to determine the this distance between these two points it can't be the usual distance which i uh, draw here uh, it may it may be weird kind of distances as you my, uh, all of might be aware of uh, all the metrics uh, as i am assuming that you all of have you gone through this uh, topic metric spaces so and we also know from the elementary course on the topology uh, that the class of the topological spaces very large as compared to the metric spaces so if i write this as set theoretically and that we have this metric space here and in here is the class of topological spaces we have topological space obviously that are not uh, metric spaces uh, so in order to uh, include this uh, um, inclusion from this side with that is uh, when our space is going to be me uh, metric space that is a point here or some topological space here uh, when it, it is going to be metric space or metrizable space metrizable space simply means a uh, topological space for which there exists some metric uh, which is going to generate the same topology that is uh, if we have a topological space we say that this topology is metrizable this is metrizable if there exists some if there exists some metric d which will generate this the topology of this space uh, this is uh, the uh, definition of the metrizable uh, 
सो यूरिशॉन इज मैटराइजेशन थ्योरम गिवज एज द राइट कंडीशन Uh, although it doesn't give us the necessary and the sufficient condition which we will see on later how to make stronger notions of uh, metrizable uh, space uh, that is uh, the right conditions to determine whether a topological space is metrizable or not uh, it just gives us the sufficient condition it just says that uh, space x which is regular and uh, as a countable basis it just give, gives us the sufficient condition to determine whether a space is uh, regular and uh, which has a countable basis let me write it again it just gives a sufficient condition that is if uh, so this is not uh, the necessary condition although it is sufficient uh, although it gives a sufficient condition as far as space to be metrizable that is regular and countable basis so first of all we will Uh, see what does uh, it mean for a space to be regular and having a countable basis so let me rub it so a space x with some topology tau is uh, we say that it is regular if we simply can separate uh, points uh, from the closed sets disjoint uh, uh, sets Uh, 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 already we assume that the finite point sets are closed uh, in this topology so if i have a point here and a closed set here let us say a uh, in a regular space for uh, all these uh, this uh, distinct point from this uh, closed set we will we are able to draw a neighborhood around this point and a neighborhood around this point uh, such that they are disjoint that is uh, that is what is meant to be a space for regular so uh, this is the definition of the regular that is the finite point sets are closed and this condition that is the we can separate point sets from the closed sets so, and uh, what does it mean to be uh, for a topology having a countable basis as uh, i am assuming that all of you know what does it mean to be uh, basis for a topology uh, uh, if we have a collection of b uh, which is a basis for this topology if it is simply countable as we know a basis need not to be countable also this topology need not to be countable it is a collection of the subsets from the power set of this set x uh, it does not need to be countable always so uh, basis b uh, uh, if it is countable simply Uh, then we say that this uh, topology and it will generate the topology tau of x then we will say that this space has a countable basis uh, so this was the statement of the eurasian's metrization theorem now we will uh, deal about uh, the strategy uh, how we determine whether some space is metrizable or not uh, already uh, i uh, told you uh, uh, about uh, the ma metric space uh, and we say that some x uh, uh, non empty set with some topology tau is metrizable if there exists some metric d if there exists some metric d which will generate this topology as we all know that uh, all the metric spaces are uh, they are metrizable uh, or sorry all the metric spaces they are topological spaces as well but all the topological spaces are not metric spaces so if we want to determine whether this topological space is a metric space we should uh, mm, somehow uh, construct a metric d which will uh, which will generate this topology tau uh, or we can uh, simply embed this space into uh, a metric space by some homeomorphism uh, that is the another kind of strategy uh, when we deal about uh, this kind of uh, situation that is to determine whether a space is uh, metrizable or not either you construct a metric d which will generate this topology then we will say that this space is uh, obviously it is uh, metrizable because there exists some d which is which is the very uh, definition of the metrizable space or either we uh, we do this by some homeomorphism what we do we do we uh, cast, uh, we define a mapping h from x to some metric space y obviously this is equivalent with the topology tau uh, 
Uh, this uh, edge should be homeomorphism. Uh, I also assume that you all of uh, all of you are aware about the homo homeomorphism at, and its properties. Let me remind you that H uh, is a homeomorphism which is one to one and on to which simply preserves uh, the set structure. One one on to simply from, from, if we have a one one on to mapping from one set into the other set, it simply preserves the cardinality of the sets. Which uh, you are all aware of by uh, by homeomorphism, we mean uh, H uh, H is continuous as well as H inverse is continuous. H and H inverse are continuous. Uh, then we will say uh, these uh, two spaces are homeomorphic. And if these two spaces are homeomorphic, that is this space and this space, that if there exists some homeomorphism between this space and this space, then these will be homeomorphic to one another. Uh, then we know uh, this metric space is uh, sorry. This is a metric space with metric D. If uh, this is uh, the, uh, which means that this is a metric space. Already this is given, and then this also should be a metric space, which is uh, which means that this D should also generate this uh, topology tau of that space, uh, which is uh, how we uh, determine uh, or uh, this is uh, how we. Uh, deal deal with this kind uh, with this kind of situation uh, in order to determine this uh, or in order to prove that some space is metrizable or not. We simply embed this space into this metric space. Uh, uh, this need not to be uh, onto that is this not this x need not to be homeomorphic to whole of y. If it is simply homeomorphic to it is up to it is range space. Uh, we can do what is uh, we can simply then do. Uh, let me show you what we can do. If it is simply it it is not onto, then uh, this was our H from X tau to Y D. If our space is uh, sorry, if our mapping, sorry. If our mapping H is. Uh, is not onto we can simply restrict it up to its range and we know all all the uh, all the mappings uh, restricted up up to their range space or are always onto and then we will restrict this metric d onto that range space that is we will simply restrict uh, range of h let me denote a range of h by r of h we will simply restrict this d onto this and which will be Mm, uh, uh, also, a metric space uh, that is the uh, induced metric, uh, as you all are aware of the relative metric or the induced metric, uh, which is uh, which uh, we which uh, all of you are aware or you have already, uh, which I am assuming that you all of you are uh, have studied in your previous courses. Uh, then this range space will be homeomorphic to this topological space and this is a metric space then this must be metrizable space. So this is our um, strategy in proving the uh, Urishana's metrization theorem. So now let me talk about what tools do we need in order to in order to prove metrization uh, Urishana's metrization theorem. We need simply two tools. Uh, and rest of uh, I will I will discuss about them in the lecture. We will simply need two tools. That is uh, Urishana's lemma, and and another another tool which I will describe later. One is Urishana's lemma. Uh, Urishana's lemma. Sorry, Urishana's lemma. And another is uh, a space, a regular space with countable bases. Uh, is always regular. This also we need. A uh, regular space with countable bases is always regular space with with uh, countable bases is always normal. Also we need this theorem. Countable bases. This implies normal normality. Uh, Urishana's lemma uh, because in order to invoke Urishana's lemma we need space to be normal but we are assuming in the uh, as I have already written the statement of the Urishana's metrization theorem 
we simply state is that a space a regular space with countable bases so in order to invoke eurishon's lemma we need our space to be normal so this kind of statement is necessary i am uh, uh, i am assuming that all of you have gone through the proofs of uh, eurishon's lemma as well as this theorem regular space with countable bases impl always implies normality uh, let me remind of you this uh, eurishon's lemma statement because it is uh, necessary Uh, so let me do i am not going to prove it here uh, or maybe in the future videos i will i will prove it uh, and uh, we will make a better understanding of uh, eurishon's lemma it is a very deep result which was given by the eurishon in the 1924 so let me let me state it eurishon's lemma eurishon's lemma eurishon's lemma it simply states that if we have a, a normal space let x be our normal space uh <coughs> it simply states and i am i am assuming also that you know the definition of normal space as well like in the regular basis where we can separate the point sets from the closed sets Uh, i mean uh, point sets and closed sets can be uh, separated in uh, normal spaces uh, simply we assume that uh, um, finite point sets are closed and the disjoint uh, every pair of disjoint closed sets can be separated by the uh, open sets uh, or neighborhoods uh, eurishon's lemma simply says if we have a normal space normal space uh and given two disjoint closed sets let me say a and b then we can separate these two sets these two closed sets by simply a, by by a continuous function uh this eurishon's lemma guarantees the existence of a function which is continuous that will separate these two sets let me show how uh, let me remind you of it let me show how uh, it simply says uh, that if we have a space x which is normal and given two closed sets which are disjoint a and b we will have a function continuous function eurishon's lemma guarantees the existence of this continuous function from this space into close interval 0 1 which will send all of this a into 0 and all of this b into 1 and in 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 the remaining portion of this space uh, this f will vary continuously continuously they, which is which go, which is guaranteed by the eurishon's lemma the simply states if we have a uh, if we have a normal space then these two sets can be uh, separated by the continuous function which is how we simply take the inverse image of uh, uh, let us suppose we can take any any number here let me let me choose 0 and 1/2 uh then the inverse image of this set will be open here and it will contain whole of a because all of a is sent uh, 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 is going into zero by this map by this mapping f and uh, for the rest of the uh, for uh, uh, if we take like this uh, this uh, let me say this is 3 by 4 1 it is inverse image will be containing b and they will be disjoint so by this continuous function we were able to separate closed sets a and b which is guaranteed by the eurishon's lemma uh, this theorem this uh, eurishon's lemma we will need this in uh, in proving eurishon's matrization theorem which uh, we are we are going uh, to prove in the next uh, lecture of this uh, तो दोस्तों मुझे ये बताइए कि यह वीडियो आपको कैसा लगा और इन आगे में भी बहुत सारे वीडियो बनाऊंगा इस कोर्स पे टोपोलॉजी पे और दूसरे कोर्सेज पे भी और अगले नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में हम यूरिशन मेट्राइजेशन थ्रोम प्रूव करेंगे सो लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स 
और किस किस चीज़ में आपको दिक्कत हुई समझने में या क्या क्या खामियां इस वीडियो में रही सब आप शेयर करें और अपने दोस्तों के साथ ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर करें ताकि सभी फ़ायदा उठा सकें थैंक यू